I woke up to a cold, wet Sydney morning, checked the Coin3 website, and surprisingly, there was no new model. But don't worry, you will still get your daily dose of Coin3 model. In this video, I am going to install this Coin3 Coder Flash model locally. And not only that, we will be testing it out, especially on tool use. I already have tested it thoroughly on various benchmarks yesterday when we covered it thoroughly with Olama we also went through its architecture some of the benchmarking so I am not going to repeat that bit here also this Quen 3 coder model in my opinion is one of the best if not the best open source open weight model at the moment in sub 30 billion size. The tool use has also been improved and that is what I am looking to test especially in this video. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. The tool which I am going to use in order to get it installed is VLLM which is a fast low latency inference engine. I have already covered it in detail in this video which you can see on your screen. So please go through it and get it installed if you are following along. For GUI, I am just going to go with Open Web UI. You can use any one of your choice. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. Now in order to use this VLLM, all I need to do is to serve this Gwen 3 Coder 30 billion A3P instruct model through VLLM on my local system and this is going to download this v this model here if you're also looking to rent a gpu or vm on very very affordable prices you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus and you can see that the model is now being downloaded and look at the speed of mass compute on the right hand side thankfully it is quite good because it's a huge model as you can see there are 16 shards, each one of those is 4 gig. So let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will open it in the Open Web UI. And the model is downloaded and now it is being loaded onto my GPU. And the model is loaded and you can see it is consuming around 57 gig of VRAM and took just under 90 seconds to load. Now as it serves the model, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workforce into automated tasks and you will find their link in video's description too. And you can also see the VRAM consumption here. It is just touch over 59 gig and it stays over there. Uh, it doesn't go up. And in another terminal window, I'm going to serve this open web UI as a graphical user interface. And then we are going to access it in our browser. And there you go. The model is loaded. Let me now run the first test. So first I'm going to just check it out on this a coding problem where I am asking it to create me a self-contained HTML page featuring an animation of a neural network and then there are various visual elements and other constraints. After that, I will show you how to use it for the agentic coding tasks and tool use. So let's first quickly check this one out where I have numerous requirements around what sort of visuals there be. Um, if there should be an interactive um, whispers or smooth webgl and all that stuff so let's see if it is able to do that and look at the speed of this flash model it always always really uh, impresses me a lot and the code is generated let me open it in the browser let me refresh it let's check it out so it's an animation around that neural network changing colors let's wait for it i'm just showing you as is i'm just going to click on evolve to see what happens change mode 
it is just displaying this thing interesting okay i'm just going to ask it that it is just displaying this i'll copy this thing maybe i'll just type it over there let me do that the animation is just displaying and not moving forward let's check it out okay let's wait for it it is going to change it okay this time it looks better let me open it in the browser okay this is much much better i will just simply reload it so you see it just keeps getting denser and denser much much better where neurons are just sparkling and stuff okay and we have seen that you know in one or two attempts it really produces a good code in this video where we checked it out with various benchmarks anyway let me now show you its agentic coding capabilities now in order to use the agentic capabilities of the model you need to serve the model with tool use enable as you can see on your screen i have changed the command to serve the vllm with this enable auto tool choice and i am using this tool called parser as herms which is which comes with vllm so it is going to serve this quen3 coder model with tool use enable so make sure if you are using any other model you always enable this and it is going to start serving this model on my local system and by the way agentic coding simply means that ai model can act like an intelligent agent that autonomously uses tool functions to solve problems rather than just generating text responses so a user comes in a user asks any question in natural language then the model understands that natural language prompt and then accordingly it goes into its code and then selects the appropriate function and then creates a function call and there and then from there your code actually makes that function call so the purpose of model here is at very high level is to take the user prompt understand it convert it into relevant function call and that's about it the actual function calling is done by your own model so if i show you the code here which i have written in order to use it i have first just to show you an example i have created these uh, you know functions like get weather and calculate comfort index and because vllm is open a compatible so that is why i am importing that from there i am just parsing the tool call that whatever the function call is and then i'm calling the actual function call and this is where the magic happens of ai where we are accessing the local model these are the agentic capabilities where all we have done is given the system prompt and this is very crucial that i am telling the model that i am planning to visit new york and london next week can you tell me which city would be more comfortable weather wise and then i am telling explicitly to model that you have access to these two things and please use this function to help me decide and use the format this 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 is a format we normally use and it's a standard one now de facto standard i would say and then this text prompt goes to model and then what model does it checks okay what the prompt is and then automatically it decides which function to use here now when i say which function to use or which tool to use what it means is that it only creates a function call or tool call that okay user needs this function there might be hundreds of function then you won't need all of them so the purpose of model is to intelligently select which function to access and then you actually make that function call and then we return the response to the user this is all there is to it okay so our vllm is now served if i use this code you see that this is the model's initial response so model has understood that it needs to check the weather in both cities to determine which would be more comfortable so it has created the function call and from there uh, i think my model failed so this is the thing uh, i think last time when i ran it, it it was successful but it is failing now there you go it is now 
you see successful so this is the error handling you also need to implement and it is good thing that it happened with the second try it was able to do that now this is where you would have to have a guardrail present where sometimes models fail so you cannot blindly trust the model output just now you saw that when i first ran it it failed and in second attempt it was able to actually detected the tool calls it generated those tool calls uh, with the function signature which primarily means function name and its parameters and then uh, we actually called that function from our code code and it returned us the response so make sure even if you are using these agentic coding capabilities you must not try the models blindly you should always put in all the checks and balances okay that's good i hope that that was uh, useful and of course you can you know change these function calls or tool use with any of your api endpoint calls or database calls or whatever you use you can even use model context protocol or mcp which mask or uh, hides a lot of these functionalities all you need to do is to make an api call that's about it anyway so i hope that this was useful let me know what do you think please please like the video and subscribe to the channel if it helped I would be very, very grateful. Thank you for all the support.